Welcome back, everyone. Last game of NA, last game of the group stages. We have what we call a powerhouse of a game. Complexity versus Optic Gaming. Don't get them confused for OG, because they're not. They're the green wall themselves, and we already have a draft. It started quickly. It could have been like, yo, Complexity, you want a 15-minute break? Nah, we good. And now we're here, boys. Give me your first thoughts. What's going to happen this game? I... Hopefully, complexity, you know, when it comes to their draft, it do something a little more expected almost, right? Because last game, I think Agreed. That, that was a big part of it against VGJ Storm. It's one thing. Clearly, they had some idea in mind. Wanted to try something completely different, hoping to catch them off guard. Wasn't the case. Now, this isn't as significant as that previous match, but it still is, as we were talking about. First place seed for the playoffs on the line. Yeah. Still pretty important. And it's big, I think. I think how people are looking at it, right? Like complexity, optic are at the top, and then yeah. it's like EG, and then Immortals is lower. So you do probably want that first seed, I'd say, for sure. Yeah, I think that uh, being almost guaranteed to go to the winner's bracket final, like I have a hard time, I have a hard time seeing Immortals taking a series off these guys. But um, I do believe that EG's at least pot, like it is potential that they can do it much, much more likely. So, yep. Cap, I'm glad complexity went for the axe here. Um, as opposed to, like, the Magnus. Now, they could have said, okay, we're going to pick this Magnus, and then we're going to get, like, um, a Gyrocopter or something like that and try to beat the Lycan that way. But I think it's much better for you to just get the Axe Counter to the Lycan. Good yeah. lockdown. Blade Mill's really strong versus him, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you're taking advantage of the fact that Optic... They saw this Wind Ranger, right? And they they pick this safe lane hero that will be able to match up pretty well against the Wind Ranger's harassment. It's kind of like dealing with a warlock in lane. There's just so much regen naturally from the the Lycan that it feels like you can't actually shove him out. But Axe might be able to do that, but failing that, at least Axe will get really good farm out of this lane. And Axe really needs a strong laning phase because he needs Vanguard, he needs Blink Dagger, and then you need to get that progression into a Blade Mail. So you can't afford to just be Blink Call and dying every single time. You actually need to be staying alive in these fights. So I think Axe takes advantage of what Optic sort of gave away with this early Lycan pick. Yeah. So I'm going to have to disagree with you on one front, and that's like obviously I do completely agree that Axe is great against Lycan, but I've seen Axe at least three times, and I've been on one of those ends where you played against Clock, and it happened in the first game of these tiebreakers, and I think it was, or maybe it was the last game of overall, where you just can't lane as Axe. You just get the clockwork just walks behind you and you die. I think it was actually it was the first game, right? It was VGJ versus Complexity? versus Optic. Right? Oh, yeah. The, the very where oh, they yeah, had yeah, a, yeah. where the clockwork the Axe had like no impact because he has like four deaths in the first like 12 minutes and I Wait, just feel don't like Don't you just play on top of your creep with? But then they're going to pick, like, a ranged core that goes against you. They'll put, like, the like in mid or something. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, okay. I feel like every time I've seen Axe against Clock, he's had very limited impact because of it. And so maybe they'll have some way of enabling that, and I'm ready to see it because I'm sure they're aware of what I'm just saying right now. But I personally had the same issue in one of my drafts. I didn't think about it ahead of time, and it just makes it really hard for Axe to play his game because he just wants to play up in your face, right? Yeah. yeah. And Clockwork is really good against that. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that. If they have, like, a range cord that actually threatens Axe, then that makes a lot of sense. I think if they have, like, a Rubik or something, like some support on the side of complexity that helps save him from COGS, it would be a lot better. Like, I think that will help them a lot. So I may be looking to see them pick something that enables the Axe to survive. And then you have a 5 Rubik. Yeah. No, thanks. That's what I'm saying, though, is I don't love the pick yeah, itself. Yeah. I'm saying I, I something mean, like yeah. a Rubik that does, that does the same job. Yeah. Well... We see some bands, Broodmother going out. No one's going to get them. Well, there's the Warlock, who, it's weird, right? An SA, first pick almost every game. In Europe, even, they love it. But in NA, it's been going through the second phase every time. Very uh, good against Axe, no. because you just wait for him to jump in, and then you rock him. And uh, he, you rock him, you upheaval him, and suddenly there's just an Axe in the middle of the fight yeah. that can't move. It, it really goes, to your point, Grant, it's, it really is something watching from region to region, how... Stuff like that can occur because you're not wrong there. It's Warlock really has not been seen a lot in North America yet. I believe he's second overall as far as all the regionals combined, yep. as far as most big heroes go. So I think same with Pango. Like Pango, I believe is gonna. I think it's gonna be that hero Ti. You like think he's he gonna be gonna, like the, He is sick as hell. He's he gonna be like the Earthshaker of Ti Five or something. Yeah, he yeah. is. He is a nasty ass hero, and we're we're seeing he gets like fifth picked in NA. But I think we're gonna see maybe a little more. And look at this Whoa. Treant. <clears throat> Interesting. That's pick. a big boy. 
I so what I like about the too. Warlock here is that if, if they do do the Clockwork plus Range Hero, they can actually run the Warlock in the aggro dual lane um, with the offlaner. Some sort of melee offlaner takes really good advantage of the Warlock. In the SA quals, we saw Warlock Pango actually doing really well to, uh, to contest, I think, was a Lifestealer lane, something like that. So the, the Warlock can both match the Axe's presence in lane if it's Warlock Lycan. Then they have so much re uh, regen between the two, they're not actually threatened by those, the aggro dual lane. And then if they do the ranged hero with Clockwork, then Warlock can go top lane. Yep. Or bottom, sorry, their dire side. I always get it mixed up too. Yeah, well, especially with this angle. Um, Trent, yeah, the living armor. But we've seen it before, though, even the, the 4 4 0 build coming up. But you got to imagine it gets a Lycan. We're going to see the living armor. This game. Uh, the ult's pretty good against Lycan. Uh, that's about that all too. I see about Tree against Lycan, just because you you are another form of control for him and mm -hmm. all of his summons. And Morphling's up in value whenever you have like a Witch Doctor or a Warlock, because he always has such a low health pool but really high armor, so, so it just makes the heal that much more effective. This is a 33 Lycan, then. Pie cap Morphling. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and this is like you said, right, with these 2-1-2 two, two lanes now, it doesn't even matter. There's no off lane. You can just get three cores, and you can just do whatever you want with them because yep. of these two lanes. One hero builds team items. doesn't matter which one. You just have one that does it, and uh, they have plenty of team fight. Like, they don't need, like, this traditional off lane team fighter because they have this Clockwork Warlock already. Yep. What if you um, what if you put the axe mid now Ooh. to match the Lycan, and then you did, uh, like, w you could do Wind Ranger Train Protector, Aggro Duel. You can make this Wind Ranger Core. You could still do a different offlaner. I don't think Lycan's middle still. Well, they are doing TA mid. <laughs> I was going to say maybe pick something like a flex pick to go with what you said, but yeah. that is not a, what they did at They're all. They're locking it down. Yeah, TA's, as far as I know, not that great against Morph because he has such high armor, and he also can turn into you and refract, and then it remains on his hero. So what has Optic been doing? 33 Morph, where have they been putting No, 33 Lycan. Lycan, he's the Lycan Oh, yeah, player. sorry, and sorry, he, sorry. he usually does go into the offlane still with a plus right. one. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay, okay, never mind. And then Morphling, safe lane, you know. I feel like they're going to try to get Morphling against Axe and Lycan against whatever if yeah. they put the Lycan side lanes. I feel like Lycan would do pretty well against TA mid, though. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like the Wolves instances of damage, and then you also have high damage, so you shouldn't get denied. I feel like that's the most likely scenario. They know it's a TA yeah. mid. TA is not one of those heroes you just like throw in a side lane if it's not a good matchup. So interesting. Why don't pick you on throw TA in off lanes? Like why not? Uh, you I think the she, levels, right? she, it, she's all about the levels, and she. Uh, it's hard to explain. She just doesn't want to move. She's like vulnerable to getting wrapped on, and so the long extended lanes in the sides like make gotcha. it so she's vulnerable to ganks. Her side lane presence also doesn't. Uh, put her in close proximity with the Ancients, which is That's her best way to true. transition from laning phase into mid game. She really likes mid lane for that reason, right? Gotcha. They ban Night Stalker when they have Lycan. Very interesting. I didn't think that would be something you're concerned about. It goes well with Complexity's lineup, but whenever you have a Lycan, the Night Stalker always buffs up your Howl. So. Hmm. Well, we're coming to the last ban of Complexity. We're almost done with the picks already. Still need their safe planner. The is there a side. hero? PL is the most notable against Lycan, I think, in this patch, and obviously they banned him out. So heroes like Troll do well against him, but as you mentioned, yeah. Breaky, he's like 1 in 11 or something. Yeah. So we um, we saw this matchup twice. Animage versus Morphling. I'm just going to put it out there oh. simply because you don't have any lockdown for AM. I don't think it's great. I feel like Lycan just kills all your stuff. Yeah, I think Lycan is a problem for you if but they're AM, but it's it's the one to one. I think Monkey right? King is their versus, hero versus Morph. I'm almost certain they go Monkey King, just not because it's like the best pick. It's pretty good against Lycan, but I know also Moo like has a ton of games on that hero. I like that. I just think it's their hero, even if it's not the best pick. This is the Monkey King game? Axe and Monkey King Tree is oh, Brutus Band. Good Brutus combos. Band. It would have been a good bird game. Yeah, that's why it's banned. Good call. Oh, Pango the Pango! Leader. There you go. And it's fifth. Pa I don't know. Na, we're about to learn real quickly why this hero owns. So if he doesn't just blink into a wall and then stop himself, and yeah. This is complexity special though. They pick like a one mid, and then they pick yep. two off laners because they have Moo who was playing off lane up until what three weeks ago? So, or so. So who plays what? Is it a Moo Pangolier? Moo definitely or plays Pangolier. Are they gonna go like uh, a Maelstrom Pango build? That build is 
what? Very potent. Against Morph, right? Yeah, against Morph, it like shoves out waves super fast. Like one swashbuckle will kill the creep wave. You don't even have to worry about shield crashing. I don't know. I feel like you put Lycan <sighs> mid, possibly. No, they put Ember. Okay. I just feel like they have really good lane matchups. Morphling does well against Pango and Axe. Yeah. Like Ember versus TA, I think is TA favorite though, which is interesting. It is. I'm a really sure good Ember it's game, all though. about you know how you actually use your your range cleave and all that. Yeah. Moon Meander right now is on Pango. Okay, I'm a lot. They both spammed nice. it. When it first came out, I remember they were both spamming the hell out of it in pubs. Like, both these players are probably the most experienced two in NA. I would go Optic this game. This feels... I like Optic as well. Yeah. This feels I, weird. From is it not too greedy? I mean, they do have a Lycan, Morphling, Anna. I mean, you have, spirit you have low cooldowns in Lycan, Clockwork, Ember, and Morph, and then you just have a Warlock to bat. I don't know. It just looks... Way better for me for optic. I mean, at least at least Pycat can't like um, none of these heroes. You feel good about blowing up. No. Yeah, I, I'm still sticking with optic on my draft protection though. I I just really like the um, like the Ember Spirit was the right kind of hero that they needed. They just needed a playmaking mid that would cause havoc, takes advantage of um, of the early TA pick. Like you could definitely lose that lane as Ember Spirit. Yeah. Uh, is it still like 50-50 based on play, or is it? I think it's slightly TA favored. Okay. And this is all like me talking to mid players, not me playing the match. Yeah. I like I like Limp matching up against CC and C as well. I think it's even, but I think I would give Limp like a 52-48 over him as well, just in like individual skill. So. But either way, it's like Ember Spirit doesn't have to win that mid match. Mid matchup. He's not right? gonna get obliterated. Yeah. yeah. Just get a Quillatrice. As long good. as he doesn't like get destroyed, then he takes that farm and then goes and just creates a bunch of action around the map, um, and just. He's kind of the filler until 33 and Pycat come online. The way I look at TA is like, once you get six, if you're like ahead in lane against most heroes, they can't even walk up anymore because you just lay a trap and they'll actually just die to the trap plus like another trap. And then you just, you can't like Alina can't lane when the TA is six. But Ember's a hero that once TA gets six, as long as he's not so far behind, he can't even walk up. Um, he can still lane, which is nice. We've seen this. See, for Gary time he plays Wind Ranger, just like four wind runs over with the ward while smoked to get down a really deep ward. I'm sure if Optic has been watching the replays in between games, they'll know this. Yep, 33 saw that he went over there, so we might see it. Yep, that ward's getting countered. It's rough. He tried. He tried. That's the. I mean, you got to do stuff like that. Now that you can't TP, right? What do you guys ever miss at the? Or no. I know you guys are core players, right? TPing to a lane to get wards down early. You glad that's gone? I'm glad the idea of that's gone because it was one of those things that you didn't want to do, but you had to do it because the other team did it. Yeah. So it's like, it just you have this TP scroll they give you at the start of the game, and that was like a really cool concept. And then half the games or more, you just use it to <laughs> get to your lane, which I like the way they have it now. Everyone starts with a TP, but obviously you have no choice to use it. And it also made it so you could walk out like freely and just not die because if you ran into three heroes, you'd just TP yep. most of the time. They'd have to like stun you and then you just get away. Well, it was this weird mutually assured destruction between the supports. Yeah. If you weren't the support who TP'd out, then like very likely your ward was going to get countered and then you just lose. You feel like you lose the lane. All right. Well, guys, it's a morph versus a TA. Now, all that dissecting we did is, is gone. What, what are we looking at? Who wins this? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like TA should absolutely win this. Yeah, me too. But look at this. We're going to have help. So okay, the 2 one twos already gone. Peter's here, says Limp. Look what's happening top. 33 is getting chased back to his tier two by a tree. TP. I do like this, though, because it. Um, I think they're tr really trying to enable the Ember Spirit because he's faced up against one uh, Pangolier. Like, he should just free farm in that lane. That is true. And he's, I feel like um, CC and C's hero is the most important in this game. Why right? is that? Because uh, PyCat and 33, they're going to take a little while to come online. And Complexity's lineup is like very fast. So, and the only fast hero on Optic is the Clockwork and the Ember Spirit. I think those are your two like big playmakers in this game that slow down Complexity from running over the map. So if they both have strong laning phase, which Clockwork's a support, so I don't know what he's going to be doing, but... I just feel like laning Lycan against the uh, Axe is a mistake, but maybe not. I just feel like that uh, Ember doesn't hate laning against Axe, and Morphling likes laning against him, so it's just kind of odd to put Lycan top. 
Glyph against Glyph middle. The classic. Uh, I love that now. Like, people, we got a Glyph for towers. Nowadays, the, the, the meta definitely evolved. Yeah, Pycat's level 1 to Limp's level almost 3. 8 and 2 versus 3 and 2. Peter's trying to help out a little. He does have these extra creeps that haven't died yet, so it's actually going to be 8 and 2 to 7 and nice 2 effectively, nine. which is nice. 7 3. 7 3. Uh oh. Oh, he Don't still end. gets the deny, but the fatal bonds, holy moly. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. You see? Percentages never change with fatal bonds, just the number of targets. Pretty damn good skill. So how does it, okay, I mean, I don't want to keep asking how every matchup goes, but a Pango versus Ember. This should be a little more obvious, right? It's melee versus melee, but, I mean. I mean, I think Ember will win this because Pangolier can't uh, break your shield. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. He's Is dead? that dead? <coughs> and you also can't uh, use either of your two first skills at a root. Am I correct on that? 500 gold? Sorry. You are totally correct. Okay. I, I'm just gonna, I knew the Q for sure, but I wasn't actually 100% positive on the W. That, that feels like a really bad death. Obviously, every death is pretty bad. It's 500 gold going the way of usually your, your middle player who does, as you said, right? He wants to be the – he needs to have a good lane. He's having a great lane. Is first blood always 500 gold? I no. don't feel like it's that much. <laughs> I, I never – I don't no. understand death kill or kills like the formula for first Honestly, blood. Honestly, it depends if other people are in the lane as well. That was a straight-up one-on-one kill. That's and true. There's other – I don't want to get into it because I'll confuse you guys. Yeah, your math I is do always know way how it works. above my understanding. <laughs> yeah. He was, his hero net worth was probably relatively high. That, yeah. But – um. Yeah, that, that lane should be like a free win for Ember Spirit. So do you think, does Cole, they already saw one death, do they need to like commit somebody down there? Or? No, I think you have to keep the pressure on the Lycan and the Morph. Like you can't, you can't let more Lycan have this space. Oh. Is Clockwork plus Lycan is uh -oh. enough to, oh, this is a great move by his eye. Should be, oh, but the, the creeps do hit the tower, so. Hey, it just leech seeds him now. That's my analysis of a great move. He's fine. I think it was. If the creeps weren't coming, he would have taken like two or three tower hits, which would have been nice, but creeps were flying in. They're still Had running the after him. him. Are they? One they day. are. They fast oh. enough to catch him. He's dead. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Got it. He's Dude. hungry for battle. Got 94 base damage. Oh, that feels good. Just sock someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, the thing about the train protector. Not a whole lot of people are drafting him right now. He is a lane dominator. He doesn't do a whole lot for you yeah. outside of that point, but he will win lanes. Leech Seed, as well as his invis, as well as his natural stats are all fantastic. And that's why, oh, just denies the invis rune. Doesn't do much, doesn't do anything for Warlock. Could definitely help with a Wind Ranger. So it looks like middle lane, 23-6 against 19-7. Pretty even, Limp does have a, a slight lead right there. But then top, look, they're just always around this tower. What's 33 at? 17-4 against 29-3. Cole favored. Definitely we're not expecting to win this lane on the side of Optic. So as long as, I, I guess their idea is as long as 33 is not having a bad game, they're fine with it because of what's happening in the Ember lane. Is he going to hit it once? Top lane, he might be in trouble. Yeah, he got cogged underneath the tower. Similar to what happened before, but there was no creep wave yep. this time. And we do see it, so it's a bottle. Oh. And oh, they're going in. Shackle. Oh, Doesn't bottle, really bottle, bottle. Oh. But he can't get away. And That's they get the rune, rune too. Damn. Hey, right, he had that bottle, two charges on it. That was a high ground miss. Then he would have just bottle charged up. Yeah. Pick up the batting rune, yeah. bottle charged some more. That would have been disastrous for complexity. So it's a good thing they got that kill. I mean, it, so there's a tower pinged out by Cole here. Do they want to? Put some crazy pressure on it as well. They have the siege unit, so probably. I'm personally surprised how well Morphling's doing mid. I feel like TA wins almost every matchup pretty drastically that I've seen so far whenever it's picked. And Morphling's about even. It? Obviously, there's 11 denies, but. And it's two on two, right? Like, it's different than just a straight up one on one. Yeah, it's true. Because you can always stay full agility because you get full healed by the Warlock. Because he goes Absolutely. level two heal. That's probably almost all that has to do with it, you're right. It's like, oh my goodness. If he doesn't have that heal, right, he's already like dead in the lane. That's a really good Vanguard timing, by the way, on Axe. Just picked it up and... Yeah, 38 CS already. Oh, and 33. Good thing I went up here to check the Vanguard. Battle Hunger. Right Body after. block. Oh, that's some... I've, I'm familiar with that level of micro. Oh, oh. Leech Seed in Wait, he four. Blocked. Oh, but that level. Okay, I'm, now <laughs> I'm learning. We missed the kill middle. That's fine. Nobody saw it. They're going to get this one. Hunger's up. 3-3. Three, three, and he dead. gets a spin. So, middle. Well, we were talking about the morph doing well. Well, guess what? TA 33-13 and a kill now.
Must have just like caught him off guard with a power shot plus some side blades. I yeah, that's, it's a ton of damage to catch you when you have this much health. Dude, look at, oh my goodness! Oh, it, yeah, if he gets connect. shackled while he's low agility <laughs> and he starts cool. getting hit by side blades, that's pure damage against a low HP hero, right? So that can really mess you up. Technically reduced by two armor, if it's a melee creep. Yeah, cap tech. Come true, on, true, man. True, true, true. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm I set you up for that one. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, I you knew did. about it, but I wanted to make sure that okay. you knew about it. Yeah, because if I didn't say that, then you, you, I would be <laughs> that. Yeah, I know, just revealed, exposed. <laughs> we meander with that vanguard. He's not afraid, obviously. So, yeah, the leech seed. That feels good. Is he going? Yeah, he's. I think we're gonna see the four four zero build. Yeah, no living armor, even against Lycan. I still. Oh yeah, well, I I yeah. absolutely hate living armor right now. I think train protector yeah. is so strong with leech seed, and okay. then I think the the passive and the way he moves around in Viz, like if you're if you're getting a train protector, it's that's part of the reason why you're getting this hero is the way he moves around in lanes and can get aggressive vision down. Oh, the way he so constantly is bonking the people in the support, head. Yeah. All right. Well, here's a a CCNC level seven gank, but limp. They didn't have wards, but he's like, wait, why is CCNC it's not It's obvious because there's just no hero. Yeah, there's yeah. no hero there. And when it, that's the one v one lane this game, right? So it's obvious when someone's missing. It's okay. a heavy investment by CCNC. He's gonna find him though, I think. Uh, oh, the trap scouts. Let know something's up. But he got him with the searing chains. Has the flame guard to remove that refraction charges, right and uh, he's oh. actually just out. Forced the pango there. Oh, so. oh. Got low himself in the 33 end. top, by the way. Sorry, but we're gonna watch Moon here. And back top as well. Oh. Well, yeah, Moon gets it. Overall, That's a great very good exchange for, for Optic. Yeah. For or Cole. sorry, for Colt. Here. You're good. I was That's testing you. I was testing too. you. I knew. I knew. I was just making sure you did. By the way, Optic spotting the ancient stack down there in the Radiant Jungle. So I want to say it's a triple stack at least. They have a ward there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so. they do. Sentry ward. Should That'll see that a, as well. They don't really have flash. anyone to steal with. They have the ability to contest, but exactly, nobody on their yeah. side can, can steal it. I think that's the biggest thing. And they, they see TA do it. They make a move. Oh. That, there were some spidey senses there. He just knew Tree was there. Like, he just left the second he killed the creep wave. That was really well played by CZ. And so he didn't. They do get that. This is a 3K lead for Complex here right now. It feels like they have one pretty much three lane. It feels like bottom lane's even, right? I mean, you look 49-4 yeah. and 45-6. Very they want to kill line. this mid laner because, uh, like, this TA limp is on uh, target on his what back. 33 is solo smoked pretty much. Okay. Phase boots. Oh, top. Axe. They're Let's going into him. Can they get him? Oh, the shackle. This might be a kill on Clockwork instead if he just runs at him. Looks like it might be. Well, we're going to focus over there. Moo we're going to look over trouble. here. Yeah, Moo is in trouble. Somehow Clock Zai lived. actually does survive as well. Yeah. Wow. He's trying to body block. Yep. Will Gets the chains. Yep. How close was he to a blink? Uh, not close. He was flying okay. out phase boots. Okay. Middle. Warlock getting gone on. Just heals himself. Just harass him out. Pycat's Pi only level 5 compared to the... Okay, so it's pretty much level 6 versus level 8. This is not going well That's at kinda all. That's kind of how I expected it to go. I'm not like I, I'm not like trying to toot my horn. I'm literally just like, how did he do okay here? Roll on him. Roll back. And... Optic has issues. They're getting the map collapsed on them slowly but surely. Even though Axe died, he's just going to run right back top at this Lycan. And since Lycan has no ulti, he's very vulnerable to the pressure. Does steal the rune. Should get his own as well. Or is oh, Zai going to get in the front? What are you oh, doing? Oh, Zai oh. gets it. Damn. He's just dead, I think. I mean, that's worth two bounty runes for a level four clock, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Sure. And, and oh. neutral to die. Bye. Into the tone. Big place. Oh, so uh, you said. Phase boots axe. Yeah. yeah have I you believe. guys been seeing that most yeah, of the a lot. time for NA? I okay. have not seen it. Have we? I have <laughs> not seen it. In pubs. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think it's axe good against clock, often. honestly. Like yeah. in terms of the positioning factor. Like I mean, what do you guys normally see? Brown boots? Tranquils or brown boots? Tranquils or brown yeah. boots? What world? I've even seen treads. I've never seen phase. I've seen I've treads. I've seen phase quite a bit. Mostly in pubs. I mean, I watch a lot of pubs. Yeah, I got it. Should be fine. Oh! Nope. That's playing. Oh, it's the trap damage. I was going to say, it's not a the limp. The trap damage. Go. Okay. And he did the stat. Dude, this guy oh, is nice. jacked. I'm telling you, man, that power shot. This I played Morphling against Wind Ranger, and it happens. You're just like, what the hell? Half my health. Half Especially. my health and damage. Yep. Morphling. From like, Morphling's getting worked. From like hard. a thousand range, too. So what's the. Uh, I mean, w when does Optic become a little bit stronger? Like, w are they waiting for a certain item, well, this a certain is that level? Greed, right? That's what I was talking about the draft. Uh, noticing the lineup at the very end there with the Amateur yeah. final pick. It's a very greedy draft. They're going to need some time. So, Yeah, I think Complexity is about uh, – they're a little bit ahead of schedule where they should be. I think they should only be, like, 2K up. Oh, so, missed. Oh, oh, nice try. 
I don't think you're getting this guy, honestly. You are not getting this guy. TP he is support. so tanky. And he has the phase boot move speed, even though Battle Hunter. How far moves do you go, guys? Come on. You're not getting. Oh, uh, you're getting him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Limp kills Peter. But are I'm you? Watching. Are you? You're, getting, you're definitely getting <laughs> it's him. It's just Tree, and so they, they definitely will. I thought more TP support was I coming, feel honestly. like Complexity underreacted to that. Yeah, yeah, they definitely did. Oh, they dust? That's another kill. That I'd, be, I'd be pissed uh, off if I was moving in. I'm, I think that's really sloppy. <laughs> yeah. Complexity to let that happen. Middle lane. They're going for Templar Sass and CC and C gets squared up on, though. The Treads of Quillo. A ton of oh. damage. I was going to say that. I, I saw believe. the side blade. I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if that was a melt strike or not. I wasn't sure if that was a melt strike or not. If it was, he would have died. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I'm doing Grant, the observing. I knew if Grant a kill knew. was going to happen, I will see it. Yeah. Pretty much, like, if, if the screen's not on him, Grant knows that it's not a kill. So yeah. you should just trust in Grant. Okay, I should I should, I should should just stop looking at my own screen and just look at his? Yeah. Let okay. Grant take the wheel. Okay. The cheese wheel. <laughs> uh, if uh, Grant Grant would deem it acceptable, yes. the net worth would be... Um, I usually I go at 15 minutes or 100 CS, but I will go early. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Or 100 CS. We're, we're so close. Do we're so close to 100 CS. My, my rule is... Eight minutes. Yeah, you should be around eight. Well, yeah. your rule's garbage. We're going to wait for 100 Towers CS. Towers have died. We are waiting Grant. for 100 Grant CS. Grant has a philosophy. All right. Let him stick to it. It's gotten <laughs> him this can, far. Can you go to fantasy points, please? Yes. Fantasy points are very important. <laughs> wait, that's all right. Just press a yeah. U. It's yeah, always right. three. It's three. always three. What are you they, talking they broke about? It. That broke yeah, the suspense broke of it, it man. Yeah. I, oh, I have, I, every time my viewers ask. I swear. Well, top lane. Adam's just stalking. That's the best part about Oh, he goes on invis, though. Right? You just always start in the map. It's a vision hero without, like, providing anything but his own body. Peter always talked about that himself, that he loved heroes like that. And now he's getting worked by one. Like a bounty hunter style. Yep. Lycan has a helm of the Dominator, at least. Has Ooh, Echo right. Saber Echo queued up. Yeah. bottom lane. It is a pretty terrible summons game, to be fair. Oh, what did Moon do? He's oh. okay, he's fine. Oh, he's coming. Oh. He's about to say, TP Cl or Clockwork what? should not be able to kill you as Pango, because you, you have two outs. So yeah. do you like this physical? I mean, because he went to treads as well, right? Do you like the physical damage build for 33 this game? I mean, they have so much to counter your summons, but at the same time, it's like Necrobook really is so good on that hero. Because you can always split push quicker, right? Yeah, and you also have like a 75% uptime on it. I mean, you're not killing a morph, but you might as well make his day really annoying. To make him go back to Fallon. Yep. Was that an overgrowth? It was. Yeah, it was. It was a root into overgrowth. And he's just going to run around. Meanwhile, Moon Meander, dude, uh, I've the, the level 25 talent we were watching in the, it was the the Baidu versus Immortal game. It's just, it's a 20 second downtime. It is so ridiculous. Oh, for Rolling Thunder? Yeah, Rolling Thunder. 20 second cooldown on your ulti. Dude, they're killing, uh, or they're thinking about More? they want to kill what? Peter. Who? Oh. Yeah, I was up there, babe. Deadline. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just sits next to his tier two. He knows. With fatal, right? You can actually fatal bond to creep, pull him off. It's fine. He freaks getting tons of farm. He's going four stab. Uh, I still. Do you guys like the one javelin on Wind Ranger? No matter what, it's like a big burst in damage, isn't it? I think if I didn't you get that far in my game. <laughs> the problem with, I think if you go the javelin, you want the full maelstrom at that point, because it's such a heavy increase in damage. Okay. So I can understand if he doesn't want what? that. What? The kill didn't happen because Grant's camera was. <laughs> I mean, that <laughs> what shouldn't is? happen. That should not happen. He You're has correct, full Grant. HP and full mana. Like four staff against Clockwork too. Obviously very. He good, died so. at I full. Think he, I, think he got, I think he got. I think he got stunned on right from got, the, the ulti. Yeah. Yeah, he got he stunned with the blink and then swashbuckled and just died instantly. Oh my! He doesn't even have damage oh. items. We're gonna see a kill going over here. Sea freak goes down. Dude, how did a morphling just got sold by Pango with no? Da that is. Yeah, he shouldn't. He shouldn't. They, like, there's no reason to be that low on HP. Right. At least sit at like 900, 1,000. Yeah, exactly. Like when, the best morphing players, whenever I watch them, they sit at this threshold differently every game based on what they know is enough to kill you from like yeah. not being able to react. Mm -hmm. And I think you just learned that Pango can kill you at 600 health. So I do apologize that, for yeah. missing that kill. It was a big kill. My bad. It was it 700? I said so good at 700. Oh, okay. Up yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. They Definitely to needs to be sitting at like eight or 900 like you guys said. He is going for the Maelstrom. the Maelstrom now after. He has Vanguard, Blink, Arcane Boots. He is very farmed. He's going first item E-Blade. He's almost beating the TA who took a triple stack. Feeling good. Yeah, all three lanes pretty much won the cores at least. Yeah. Walk away. Oh. Lycan has a shape shift. Oh, what if he? Oh, he tried almost. to. Still 200 gold. 
Worth. Take it. Simple as that. Top. There's just a tree pushing your tower. What are you gonna do about it? That Not I guess. Mana for overgrowth. Perfect Get trap. All the trees. We'll go down. But still, you're 5k down. You're not, like, finding anything in the map, right? Look at Oh, my goodness. Just like that. He's going a shotgun first, by the way. No Lincolns. Not really anything to Lincolns besides Shackle, I suppose. <laughs> He's running out of bottom. They're just... They're not killing him ever, Z but... Here, yeah. Maybe they are. Yeah. The Ghost, Ghost Scepter. Scepter. Oh, That's physical on, damage, come man. On, come on. Whoo! Dude, he has Blink. I would go for... Oh, he got hit. Peter. Peter might have saved him. Yeah, it's like one of those things where even if you don't kill him, that's a more for spending time just walking back to base. I guess he's swashbuckling back to base, but... Still slow. Yeah. 33, still going Echo. No, he went Medallion first. Get some armor, get some pushing. But we haven't, we haven't seen much of this guy lately now. He has a Blink, a Chainmail, and a Vanguard. He's pretty high impact, probably going for the Blade Mill, we assume. So, is Optic... They just have to keep farming three lanes? Isn't this how, like, EG loses versus Optic and VGG every time? They just try to farm three lanes, be too greedy, and then you're lose? The, you're the sponsored streamer. Why Is that why they lose? Uh, it's a big part of why they lost these couple best of ones. Yeah, that's fair. I do think, like, farming three lanes is kind of a dead strategy. Like, it's not something that is nearly as viable as it used to be. Blink on TA, by the way, so they got that with the axe. The timing's basically the same. And now the level 15 cyanide trap, so you can uh, so keep waves pushed in with traps. He always takes the extra trap talent, too. Limp does. I think most time. people do. Do they? Uh, it's, uh, like, super valuable for it's farming. Really. It's ridiculous it makes how you a split pusher when yep, you're not. Suddenly, a, you used to have traps, like, on runes and Roche, and sometimes, you, like, they still have them now. But now you just, 80% of traps are just put in lane and kill creeps. Oh, yeah. All three of these heroes want to play off map, right? TA, uh, Pango, and Axe are all... Three of them are kind of killers. Here we go. They're going on to limp. They jump for it. They're going to burst him down pretty damn quickly. TPs are flying. Here comes Moon. He wants to maybe kill Peter. Going to try to lock him down. Healed up, though. And oh, he's oh, stuck. No. There it is. The sticky stuck. And now they're going to go on from behind. He's only minusing 18% of that damage. He's going to go down as well. And that's a quick double kill for CC and C. And that's what I was talking about with Pango. You, every game you discover a new little place, you get stuck. Yeah, he went there really late, too. And the, the rest of the yep. team, another case where where was the rest of the team? I mean, clearly they were on different pages. Adam. Adam's in split pushing top the whole game. Yeah. With Meteor Hammer, I don't think he's ever leaving that lane. <laughs> well, I guess he better start getting points of living armor then. It's yep, he is. Two points, you're right. Yeah, he's actually, he hasn't left this lane for 17 minutes, I think. He's been all in up here. Almost a four staff on Z Freak. Morphling farming ancients. Oh, still gets rooted. Come on. You got to know the timings of that. So they do get two nice kills with a, a pretty long, drawn-out smoking. That was like the end of the smoke. And they get it so blink death. So when do you go for Roche? Do, do you have to get a pick up before Roche, or is there any chance you just, like, smoke in and try I to steal it? I think you have to have Golem on cooldown. Okay. Like, the minute they have that, or Hook, one of the two, or both. And ooh, yeah, I, I don't think they should ever try and sneak Roshan. Oh, Blank, they're going to get the call. Is he? He is not morphing. He is going to get handled. And a quick kill there. He goes, but not sticked. I think he lived if he sticked and morphed there. Oh, well, it's tough. It's really close either way. And here we go. Shotgun. Roll in. He's going to blink forward. Doesn't actually find anyone. He huh. sees people. There we go. He jumps up. Now they're going to try to find Peter. Yeah, Can they blow him up? Sure do. Have blow him up back quickly. Warlock will buy back TV back in. A nice double hook shot. They're going in. Will they be able to get Limp Fatal Bonds plus Rock? They drop it hard. Limp still alive. The stun up from 33 is creep, though. Nice micro Adam, no. gets the kill. Adam oh. will die. Oh, the Sentry Ward. Yep. <laughs> and that's going to be a free D Ward. Uh, I mean, if they see it. And oh, here they go. Let's see. Who gets oh, it? Oh, because they rock it, yeah. See, see, and see. Thank you. Well, it's a dieback from. No, it's a buyback. Not even a dieback from Peter, and they get a big kill in Limp, so they're. Probably pretty happy with yeah, that. I mean, his buyback costs like Very 300. Buyback, They're perfectly yeah. fine with that. Oh, he's in trouble now. He's just on some traps there. <laughs> he's getting gone on he here. He's in his traps again. Just dead. And he's dead. Good. And now it's a dieback. Now it is officially a dieback. 41 seconds for a warlock at 21 minutes. It's I thought he was Aura Kyle, not Aura Grant. Damn. Sorry. Sounds like Aura Gel. <laughs> I don't really like it, but thanks. So, it's a 4K lead. It's not like Optic is... They're not really getting steamrolled over at this big start from complexity. Doesn't that favor him a little, right? You have yeah, Ember, Morphling, Lycan. But now no Golem, so Roche. 
points there. How many points in upheaval? Three. All right. But I, I think you're right, though, Grant. It's, this is, yes, this is going to be nice for complexity, but it, it, it feels like that they, they definitely have to keep up the pace. You know, maybe another five, ten minutes here. If it's the similar pace right now, Optic Gaming definitely should start taking over. Watch him take it. Limp's tanking for some reason, making it slower because he's got bash three times. Okay, he did go blame it. I was wondering because he was sitting on a casual chain. Oh, my. Like <laughs> <gold. He laughs> 22 minutes. It was the 22 minute spawn. Oh. <laughs> it spawned on top of him. Oh, that's wow. a. I don't think. I think he would have hooked into the tree, right? Tree was standing right there, so yeah. it would have been blocked. It probably would have gotten killed, so he might have got lucky they spawned. All right, well. Echo Saber up. But now you have a T, right? You can you almost think about going high ground here, right? With this Aegis? Yeah, you have a Lycan that's like not building like a Lycan would want oh to. Oh my oh. goodness, they get the blink call. He's dead. Dude, now that, you definitely push. That's Adam, right? That's that's the tree, and you have the vision on the map because he's just standing on him, even though they have two s oh, the double sentry. Lycan's pushing top, but the thing is you have this Echo Saber because your summons suck, but you can't even show in lane because of the heroes that make your summons suck. Double so day. like the Echo Saber doesn't even let you hit towers. We see. Look at them. Three of them sitting. You don't want to be a Morphling sitting in base at 23 minutes in. You have an E-Blade. Sea Freak TP top just to defend. That's all they need, sadly. It's just a Wind Ranger is enough to defend a tower against a Lycan. Yeah, that, ju that just should not be the case. Yep, Cole having a great game right now with their unconventional, you know, two offlaner kind of setup along with this limp TA. Optic with their, their greedy tricor. Let's see. The, their last smoke ink netted them two kills and a tower. What can they get out of it here? Pycat lead the way. Who are they looking at? It will be Moo. Behind a t this tier one. Oh, yeah, they have a tree, don't they? Heal, unhealable damage becomes healable, my friends. They do rocket. And oh, oh man. <laughs> Once again, like you said, that, that Spidey sense just gets out of there immediately. And now you try to take this tower, I assume. I go back to that chainmail pickup on Axe again. He, he was sitting on 3,000 gold, queuing up that BKB, but he chooses to finish the blade mill instead. I like blade mill so much, especially against like a Morphling. Morse, so yeah. much value. Oh, well, there might be a big fight here. Yep. They Soon do now. have a ward and a sentry, so they know the tree is there. You'll see this overview. This wolf obviously scouting out Radiant where they're at, so. Dyer's like, this is a fight we don't want to take. Seafree just took a tier two solo. Oh, he's looking for the burst. Breaks himself out. Hit Can't him. TP out here. Oh, can Shuffle. now. See you later. So ridiculous when a four position can play like that. Wind Ranger's a pretty insane hero right now. This room. Level 18. Stun duration 1.5. Pretty nice. All right, so an 8K lead now for Complexity. They're just having a good time. They're just farming up the map. They obviously know, I mean, maybe Optic has a better late game, but they're they're sitting in their base, they're farming, or they're sitting four behind one. They're not in too much trouble top lane. It's just an invisible Pangolier popping up on PyCat. Another missed hook shot. Zai, though, Rockets will spot out that he's not in the trees, but he's just gone. You know, they're never killing Morph. They're just making it so he doesn't farm. This could possibly kill. He will go in Viz. But they seem to have vision on it. Man. Dust on the like. Oh, the overgrowth <laughs> won't be enough. Sure. But in they come. Does he get the call? Sure does. See oh, you wow. later, CC and C. Now 33. There's a blade mail on. They can't get him. Limps up here. And well, that's not worth it at all for Optic because they might lose a tier two bottom as well. This is this feels a lot like last game, right? I mean, but complexity is on the other side. They feel it's 15 to three. That's a little different, but they feel so far ahead. They're they're confident in what they're doing. They're just not making mistakes. There's no need to. It's a very calm game. Yeah, I still I still fear for them though a little bit. Unlike the previous game where I was just 100% confident Storm was winning that, it still seems like Optic definitely has openings here. Like, yep. yes, it's a greedy draft, but as you know, a greedy draft can pay off. Feels like it comes down to this guy, right? All about the Fatal Bonds Warlock Rock. That too. Hard part is I think CCNC is not used to being able to like this is a different kind of Ember Spirit game. He, he can't just go and split push out waves and stuff. Uh, he can't get that kind of farm because of the way the tree plays against him. Yeah. With this invis guaranteed lockdown. Was it Weeha that like against an axe on Ember rushed into an Eon disc? I think so. Yeah. I just remember somebody maybe. doing that and, and he has it now. I feel like it's a little late though. I feel like you could just get an Eon disc like second item rather than third. 
Just because he's he's died, I think, to Axe Call like three times now. Yeah. The last one probably his fault for, you know, going on a tree thinking no one's going to be nearby. And here we go. Third smoke we've seen Optic do. First one successful, last one not so much. And they're going to go top, but guess what? It's this illusion, is what we call yeah. an illusion. They should see that the auto attacks. Yeah, they definitely know. Well, they pinked it out, and then they realized. Yeah. Just look at one auto attack. He, I, love, I love the split push, though. With, look at this. Just pushing in middle and top. He knows something. Like, why is no one defending middle? Axe illusions are, like, the most value in the yeah. game early. Mm -hmm. I think what makes TA so broken right now, like a lot of the reasons why people are picking her, is because you usually can only play two lanes, as we've talked about. And now they just have these TA traps bottom that cover you. Like, yeah, the Windranger's there, but they could choose to have nobody there for, like, three minutes and just every wave would be killed by a trap. And it's just like... Well, they know Adam's here, though. so annoying that they could all be top and have bottom be pushed. Oh, Peter. Leech sheet up, stunned by 33's creep. It looks like Peter might somehow struggle out of here. Bottom, Zai's TPing, or top, sorry. They all just TP out. A failed smoke gank, and they just get out. They're trying to get they the get Ranger, but he has a force. Look at all the sentries on the dark side, by the way. Yeah, there you go. Thanks to Treant. Nice juke by Z-Freak. Bottom misses the hook from Zai. I have, it's, it's, they got that nice double hook middle. Since then, it's been it's been rough hooking for uh, Zai. Not the best hooking game. Yeah. Even even if you do hook him, right, he just four staffs, wind runs away, it could be tough. When are just going to have an MKB in the next, like, three, four minutes? Going for it, right? Did have Maelstrom queued up, but nah, MKB for me. I have Scotty for Piecat. Let's just, you know, let's, let's give it a, a peek on these items here. Does anything stand out to you, Cap? Uh, besides this... Unfortunate Echo Saber builds. Yes. Um, Basher on Pango now. That's nice. Basher Pango, huh? You don't like it? No, I think it's fine. Okay. It's almost an, a full assault Kyrus on 33rd. Should be nice in team fights. How does Maelstrom it, and Basher work? Do they do the, both the damages add up if they both proc? I do not know. Well, there you go. It, I think you can also shield crash out of uh, Entangle. I was thinking about it, and somebody messaged me as well. If you're going to go this right-click build on Lycan, I mean, BKB is maybe not the most necessary this game, but there are some things it would be okay against, I guess. Well, even against the overgrowth, though. Yeah, maybe not. Just thinking about that. Time to look it up. Only have Meteor Hammer to push out top lane. Adam, still just chilling up here. Hasn't been bottom once this game. <laughs> he can always kill the creeps. Unfortunately, it's hard for him to get into a position to meteor hammer the tier three, but that's fine. You get a blink now. Yeah, that's what he's doing, right? You just yeah. meteor. You blink behind. You just blink twice, right? Blink once, blink yeah. twice, meteor hammer. Get you the hell out. You need someone else to true push the wave in for you, but that's obviously true. complexity of the heroes to spare. The TA traps giving them some element of push. Wind Ranger quickly shoves in waves. Pango does the same. Going, okay, changes after the ultimate orb goes from Scotty to Manta. Is this mostly just for the tree? Yeah, I believe so. I guess you can also dodge Shackle. Well, no, can you? You gotta stop asking these questions. You can disjoin Shackle. Okay, that's what I thought. The net worth there on the left oh. has been so interesting to look at. I'm looking at I'm looking at a full on abyssal blade coming out from the Pangolier now. Oh, yeah. Yikes. It's, I mean, TA continues to be on top, but it's like been the same order for so long, and they're so close. <laughs> Another. Yeah. Nice odds. If you see all three of them almost at 15,000, while well, Lycan and Morph down at the old 12,000 mark. Still, obviously, one team fight, and that's, that's the scary thing. If you are complexity, hey, we try to push uphill, we get Fatal Bond rocked one time. We easily just lose a team fight. We lose, we lose our advantage pretty much in one fight. That's why I like the fact that Complexity are not actually ever trying to poke at the high ground. They're not even getting close to it. The creeps will do it. Just Living control armoring the game. the creep? Oh. Yep. I think they're playing this perfectly right now. Slow, steady, and they're winning. They know they're staying ahead. They're farming three lanes and two jungles. Dyer's farming one lane in a jungle, maybe. I love the Abyssal Blade even more so because uh, Morphling has no link in this game. Yep. So oh, if jump Morphling's on sitting low enough, he actually could just solo kill him. He's especially right, you jump instant cast it if you're in melee form. Simple as that. What? That was bottom? Yeah. Oh, just dies in the jungle, solo. What tree? I swear. <laughs> I was there. I was in the zone. But okay, that's it. I don't know. 
That's two quick kills. It's two supports, right? Not the biggest deal, but it gains down. you a little bit of uh, on the map. And hey, let's be honest, Grant. Yeah. A word distracting you. Like, you're used to solo casting and being the godlike observer there, but no, three no. other people no you excuse. have to listen to and ask questions This is intimidating, to. you know? Cap, don't give me an excuse. I don't want <laughs> it. it. It's I'm just – I got to focus, and I'm not in the zone right now, you know. We are going to see Pango, though. If he gets level 25, the game is going to end that soon. And uh, well, yeah. he's going to go the swashbuckle cooldown. You think? Yeah. You really want to say that? 100%. percent pushing. Even you really mean 100%. Let's 100%. make this interesting. No bets, but I really... Doesn't have to be a bet. And I'm looking. So you think it's five seconds? I don't know about that one, big guy. 100%. percent Okay. Okay. It's bold. That is bold. Balls on this man. Yeah. If I'm just saying, you go any damage build on Panko, you want the Swashwalker build. Okay. So, so if he does get the... Lincoln's on Morph. If he gets the Rolling Thunder, then he's wrong? Yes, he's just wrong. Objectively, <laughs> not subjectively, but objectively. No, Rolling Thunder is really good here because the like his initiation against Ember and Morphling. But you have Axe. I just think when you when you go this when you go any damage on Pango, the Swashbuckle um, cooldown valid. becomes really value. All right. And I've watched these other Pangos. Whenever like uh, in SA we had Laposa, he only had a Maelstrom. He had the regular sustain build, Crimson Guard, Guardian Greaves, all those items. Yeah. And late game, he got a Maelstrom, and he went the Swashbuckle. Cool. So we got a Roche in the Just classic that. contest, but Tree's trying to intercept. Axe oh. misses the call. Ember's going in, though. They dust up this tree. He's in trouble. Make so it double. Last time. Sorry. And he he's down. Yep. Goes he's down, so that dead. means you can't do no, Roche. Oh, right? shot. All the yeah. On Wolves. <laughs> so got him. Would that, I don't even know if that, that would have been long enough range. Yeah, that was gone, yeah. Do you try to force a buyback? Can you go into the Roche pit? You can't, right, versus Axe, Pango? You just can't. No. No. Absolutely They not. can never take Roche, right, unless, like, four heroes are dead. Feels real yeah. rough if you're dire. Hey, dude, look at this. It was a 14k lead. It's down. We do see a call coming out. Will they be able to get more? Whoa! Oh, goodbye. And he thought he was safe, right? You have five heroes, four other heroes around you, and they burst you on that quick because... What did he die at? We can look. 1,000. Oh, the Rolling Thunder does come through. Zai taking a lot of damage. He will try to force himself away. We get the call onto two of them. He doesn't have the blade oh, mill up. He just used two. it. See you later, Warlock Lycan. You are going to get a pistol blade and right click down. He's trying to run, but look at that. The four staff uh. will get him the kill. And damn, this axe all over the place. Gets that kill on Morphling Middle. Ember gets away barely. Cap called it too. I mean, that synergy of the call into the shackle shot yeah, is beautiful. That's nasty. And that's I mean, a blade, I mean, four yeah. for zero. If, well, we won't count Adam's death as that fight. That's so crazy that they went from losing uh, a hero not being able to do Roshan to then getting four. <laughs> yeah. And two, I mean, the two like biggest cores in the game. Yeah. That is rough. They're going to try to push forward. So you can see nice timing there, slowing down the pango a little. But we'll just swashbuckle and hit you with the leap. But they're still scared. They're just going to do Roche. Have the Orchid now going for a Bloodthorn, we assume. I assume. Pango's almost got that BKB now. He's free mobility as well. And that's coming. There you go. So why do you get a BKB on Pango? I mean, he's got a lot of magic damage he has to play with. There's only like, like one way you die, I guess, right? Yeah. So, you, uh, as we were talking about a lot earlier, right? If you're ahead, just don't die. Oh, middle. Much. Looks like they find Zion looking. He's just bouncing on the haters there. Limp comes, gets the kill. All chat from Adam. Will it's it like, uh, handle Peter? We're not sure yet. It's unnecessary to go like Aeon Disc or something when you could just get BKB and be like a lot more offensive with your okay. item. Makes sense. And look at this again. Illusion Axe just split pushing out lanes. What about like an AC though? It's a, it's a nice hybrid mix if you like it. For Pango? for Pango instead of the BKB. It's for no, but he, he has all the magic. The, the magic damage is what he's scared of, okay. right? Like he's gonna get shotgunned and Ember Spirit remedied. Like that's what he would die from yeah. if he can die. So. Okay. Oh, speaking of axes going AC, even. Get it up, this guy. Pretty far right now. We check and look at the graphs. Net worth almost to the twenty thousand gold lead. Fifteen thousand experience. Cole just—they've never not been the lead. Win the laning phase, don't give up useless deaths, win the game. Is that all tree and house? I guess so, wow. Well, I, yeah, I mean, Z-Freak's pretty farmed. Yeah, Z-Freak's really farmed. So Adam 
even though he's playing that six position still with the meteor hammer and he just he did such a good job of just keeping top pushed out level 15 90 damage mm -mm -mm. what not the tree respawn time <laughs> but the ember spirit remnants nice <laughs> Those clear the trees. Oh my, the plus two second nature guy's route? That's really Brent, good, isn't what, it? What if the two second tree respawn time meant that trees that you planted with yeah. branches would, respawn would stay up? That would be pretty broken. They would right? never go back down. That would be oh, sick. Well, what if you get? What if they get quelling? Do you have to get they, some negative? If they negative, get quelling, right? then they die permanently, okay. but oh, they don't lane, die by though, themselves. But Blade Mill will get Yules up. Nice to know my CCNC. They're going to hold him in place, but BKB gets popped. He does hook in. Won't do damage, but it will get him oh, down. The Whoa, shackle. Oh, the Shackle oh, comes no. out. This could be terrible. The Pango rolls in. Warlock Rock comes down. Fatal Bonds there. Dunk on Zai's head. Moon Meander just rolling on out. 33. He's right clicking, but a nice call. Doesn't have Blade Mill up. They're going in on the back lines. Can they at least kill Limp? He has the nice Aegis call. So They do get the call, but it's not going to be enough. 33 is taking so much damage right now. Then he gets pushed back. Now Pycat, he's full strength. He's just trying to run CCNC. Nicely done, silenced up by Limp, and oh my goodness, whoa, CCNC, he's back. Can he do Not anything? Back. He goes on forward, but Moon is here just doing so much damage. I think Adam oh, the go oh, back yeah. in. He has the blade. Here comes the Meteor Hammer. He doesn't dodge it. Can they turn it around? This would be a dieback. Die yeah. Oh, not yet. He's Yules in the air with that tree. Nope, Moon Manor smacks him once in the fray. Limp, hello. He's slowed. By the way, the, down the cripple. Work. And the go down 33. Okay. That upheaval was there for a good 30 seconds, it felt like. Wow. Yo, that PyCat was a G. When he yeah. waveformed in and turned into the axe and got the counter call, I saw that, 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 that kind of saved the fight. Yep. That was insane. That's the best part, right? You just tank up all the damage as axe and then just switch back to morph because he instantly swapped when he's full HP. Such a good play. So 3-3 three, three and CC and CC bot back, yeah. Uh, we'll look at that later. Yeah, let's take a look at the buybacks. Yep, you have a CCNC plus the 33. I do think they might have gained a little gold. Top? Who knows? Top. We're looking. He got the morph off. It would have been a, a I'm looking with BSJ. The, with the follow up from Pango. So it would have been a kill if he didn't get the shot, if he didn't get the morph off. That's true. But Pycat, we just saw what he did with Axe BSJ. He's in the know right now. Hey man, I just I feel bad you call for you. Now when you see you, when it, I feel you. When you're mistuned or you know, <laughs> I, when, when you're I mean, when you're a board playing against X, do you, do you ever consider blade mail? You ever just like, <laughs> oh, and you just <laughs> blade mail call everybody? <laughs> yeah, blade mail call. Oh, that'd be sick. Because you're the same as an axe at that point in time. Right, what if you have sick. a teammate axe and you just go vanguard oh. blink, blade mail, and Dude, then by level twenty, no you carry come would to be level, able yeah. to stop that. Level twenty, you come online. Swashbuckle cooldown, as I said. Cap, 100%. you got to up your game, bud. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right, so. See the I'm, first 25? I believe so. Let's hit a, is, yeah. the E button here. Hero level. Yep, he is even beating out Limp, who is dead. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. 50, oh, Zai. Zai's on the struggle bus. Level 15. He's got a Yikes. gem. Does have a gem. That is nice. So it's a 20k lead. Pretty much we're back to where we were, but there were some some buybacks obviously expended almost There's, a bkb yeah i was gonna say that, that's what i was talking about earlier with the bkb choice i'm liking if he's gonna go this right click especially but honestly this game the bkbs doesn't feel that great either it feels like an so. item you have to get but an item that doesn't actually change much yeah uh, yeah i guess i don't know what he could get in place in at the point though anyway so cole got a win soon i, I yeah. don't think they exactly I fall don't, off they, yeah, don't, they yeah. don't fall off, but I mean, obviously, Optic in the, you know, six slot versus six slot. But the okay, problem is yeah. Cole is suffocating him really hard. Yeah. And I think the, um, like, I guess what I mean to say is that TA reaches her peak when yes. she gets these re extra refraction charges. And a blood And thorn. you're pretty much maxed out on items. So Two items. You, you need to make sure that you're able to close out this game in that, like, 10-minute window. I like the way Cole's positioned. By the way, Limp did just buy the, the Tome of Knowledge or someone bought it for Solid, Get yeah. that 25. He has no buyback. He has Butterfly and Orchid. So one blink oh. call by PyCat, right? Uh, buy that Blade Mail. He's 1,200 gold off. I don't think he's going to get you to base. Are they looking to possibly push into base? They're looking to see if someone wants to defend middle. You get a pick off on either of those two cores. It's a 4v5 game for the next 100 seconds. It's not like they'll find anyone, though. Everyone chilling in base, but an illusion bottom. Which is double siege. I mean, this this might just be a tower bottom for the siege units, right? Should be. Yeah, 
Yeah, smart by Optic not going out, knowing they have that push down there. And then he goes out. And then Flatcat goes out and gets called. He gets called. He is morphing strength. Here comes the Warlock Rock. Fatal Bonds. Can he somehow get out there? The hook shot won't be enough to save him. That is no buyback. 33 on the backside. Looking for Adam. Has the BKB. Pops out of it. Adam goes down. Moonman on the backside. He's BKB rolling. Swash buckles away. 33 is just going to crit him up. Running at him. But Z Freak defending his boy. So well put back. But they also just reset. They saw the BKB like and running at them. They're just like, let's yeah. just run away. Not try to fight this. They do have to defend this, though, for sure. You don't want two siege units just hitting your base. Yeah, that was some back up. questionable dangling being done by the Morphling there. I mean, we literally, like, just don't leave the base right there. Yeah. No one's on the map. No, they're, they're, you're taking a tier two bottom. You're actually winning a trade for once. Zero you're taking trade a tier one at top for a tier two. two. Yeah. Just had to he's check just that like, out. he knows he's at threat, oh. but I think he's under the impression. Oh, the call. The call. <laughs> Got it. I think he's under the impression that he'll be able to oh, reset. Back. No! Oh! Where was the where was the living the, armor? The li I with the tree. Oh, that's yeah, actually about. Yeah, yeah, where <laughs> was the tree? That's, oh, that's what I say. My pub. Buy back, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Does he have? No, he's no, got he a blade. That's he just, like my pubs in a nutshell. Where was the tree armor? I was <laughs> dead. dead. Where's my warlock? I, that fight. Right. If you don't. I think if you don't take that fight, right, you do get two towers for free. It's almost weird he went out to, to farm one. Maybe they they wanted to bait a fight with Fatal Bonds. Uh, that's Bons what I'm Rock. saying. I think that's what he was he actually trying it. to do. Yeah. Okay. He didn't think he would die in the initiation. That, he, I mean, he was morphing, as you mentioned. So, yeah. yeah, very possible. They just have a lot of damage. I mean, it, if he did live long enough to get morph off on Axe, then all of a sudden that fight it looks turns. fantastic. But... Still, they haven't pushed into the base. A good job. They know Rock is on cooldown now, though. Peter... He has 70 seconds till. Well, no, Fatal Bonds makes him useful. So, so what point do you morph into Treant and heal your towers? <laughs> Never. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. I, I, okay. If he went down to like 200 HP and you saw the tree just kind of like hanging out. If he somewhere, was hanging. Was, yeah. yeah. But the tree hasn't been hanging. It's a pretty short cooldown at level three, right? I mean, maybe he's yeah. hanging out like right to the left there, next to that tree, right in front of the the area, and you have a sentry down. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah. I don't think you'll feel bad if a team fight happens. It's only 40 second cooldown. That's the same as yeah. flat cannon, you know. It's yeah. Like yeah, you'll get a leech seed off at least. Well, they will take some. <laughs> They're doing some counter warding here. Oh no, they won't. I would deny it. It's value. So almost a bloodthorn on the TA now. Still, they, they can't man. crack uphill, right? Like this is this is a problem if you're complex. You're up 21,000, but you can't crack uphill. They have like, eventually you have to. Over time, they will lose their base. Oh. And Warlock's level 20 now. Did we already mention the that? The Golem on death, yeah. Yeah, okay. We didn't mention it, but okay. I did show it. Like, you know, okay. sometimes you just do the old casual whoop, whoop, and you're good. Axe continues to cut, like you said, with that illusion rune. Should have put it on the range creep, but. What's the four. other, uh, I, I remember the plus four wolves. What's the good? Talent for a Lycan. Come on, 600 man. health. 600 health. Don't do for that to Lycan. <laughs> the wolves' talent's <laughs> actually insane if they don't have AoE because the wolves kill buildings so fast. Oh, we have a call coming in. It is going to be on PBD. He will get F bladed. He's just sitting in place. We see an ulti coming from the Lycan. We're going to see CCNC go in. Use that. They're going to find the call. He calls himself with Pycat. The rock does go down, but they're all just jumping. No one's dead yet. Finally, PBD goes down. Another rock comes out. He buys back. We're going to see Z Freak die, though, over there. Mu is trying to get another call up. It is on PyCat, and he is just going to go down. 33 is dominating, but buybacks galore coming from the Dire on the backside. Limp will go down. My god, the Golems oh. plus 33 with the Medallion. The late game medallion so much work. They find him. Can they actually kill this Pango? It looks like they sure can, and guess what? Oh no! And the Roche. Okay, they're making the call. They want to. They want to yeah. buy back for the Roche defense. But they're not going to be fast enough. They don't, they don't buy back. Either. No, they all have to buy back. Yeah, and they, they all have to, have to TP. But What's look at happening? the long TPs. Yeah. They're trying. Oh my goodness! They can't take. They yeah, are going to get out. Okay, they're good. They're good. Ooh. 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 What a hectic fight! And like you said, the level 20 talent on Warlock, the stun through like the BKBs feels so good. Just instantly buys back as well. I just want to say that Pycat saved that fight though, because yeah. he, again, yeah, yeah, he ETH bladed and then. Peter, the the yeah. warlock, and then the axe was gonna call him again, and he and he strength stunned the axe, so he kept him alive long enough to use the first rock. Yeah, it's crazy. Who would have thought in a game like this, you're like, yep, axe is the only person I wish to morph into. That extra call has been so value for him. Wind run grants invisibility, pretty good, especially when Lycan doesn't have book. Do they still have the gem on Zai? They do. He's so poor on clock though. Oh, look at this. 
He's Shadow Blade. Is he just going to go for a crazy call? Oh my goodness. CC and C's here, actually. They're going to try to find Moo instead on the axe. He's just getting held down. They do Battle Hunger. We'll get some movement speed. Tree, well, your armor does nothing. And it looks like they'll just disengage. So we're back to five on five, but let's take a quick peek Arino here. And, well, it's heading in Optic's favor now. One bad team fight is all it took. Yep. What a weird place for Optic to be, right? Like, they're just sitting by uh, yeah. the river that late out of nowhere, and they take the fight. Turns out when you have a Warlock, you can win fights at any stage in the game. Who would have guessed? What do you take here? Is it always the Magic Community? Do you think 20 armor is decent here? I think Magic Community is always good. Yeah, I think both are very good this game just because you have the TA, oh. but... I think you probably take magic. Get ready. They could find CC and C. He does have the A on disc, so he's not the best catch they can find. It will get procked up. He gets F bladed. He will go in. We're going to see an ulti from 33. They're going to try to run through. Hook shot on the back. They're going to no find Robbie. Adam. Will they get him? No. He no gets away though. as well, but look at this. CC and C doing so much back. We are going to see the shackle shot. They're trying to bring him down, but he just BKB. See you later, Tree. On the back, Pycat getting worked by Moonmaner, but he doesn't do any right click damage. You got to use Swash. Look, look at Moo. He's trying to run away. He might just go down, or will they kill 33? He Shadow Blades. They don't have vision because where is Zayat on the backside? Wow. They're just getting out, and now One Z Freak. Death. He's in Viz. Zai, Zai being low that whole fight. Couldn't get him gem vision anywhere. I can never morph that fight, which is kind of odd. Thought he would use it on somebody there. Just anyone, right? Yeah, even Pangolier I thought would be pretty good. Well, technically still a one fight, right? Yeah. Well, I guess Lycan... Like, Lycan's one of the few heroes who wants more so a, a high-level BKB, right? Or high time. He's almost down to five. Which could be real rough, but you get a tree. They didn't have Golem, though, so considering that factor, True. that's pretty good five result. Oh, and the smoke. They're going for it. We see a hook shot. It comes forward. He's going to push him back a little bit. No that plate goes. Oh, no, but they go through that. He's going to try to get away, and he is just going to go down. That is a no buyback possibility of Moo being in the wrong position very high. And now they're just going to be able to take this Roche. They know it's 100 cents. They could just even get a, a tier 2 top. Are they looking for more? They won't find it. Wow. Tango's nearby, but no. Jeez. Refresher. Peter. Peter. Wake the hell up. There you go. Gets the refresher shard. So now you have a lot of golems. Yeah, and if he can if he can get that buyback on cool, off cooldown, he can buy a blink. Go, he can golem the suicide, refresher yeah. golem blink in and die golem. Oh, what was the? It was the South American game, right, where we saw the nine golems. Yeah, that was quite a bit. Yeah, that was. I mean, those that golems. Was, uh, little Duster heroes. Warlock. I oh, old Dusty. Oh, no, no, it was Prada. Prada. Old Prada. <laughs> Prada on, guys. Wait, no. It was Stan. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> Old Stanley standing on, guys. <laughs> well, they're just going to push this tier two. I mean, be nice. To, they need to get. I can't believe there's still tier twos. Of, this is only a 50 minute game. It honestly has felt like a little bit longer because we've had that stalemate, right? Where we just sat middle for like 10 minutes. Tree, no get that go heal going, man. Yeah, why isn't that tower getting healed? Where? Mid tower. tower, yeah. Let's, let's look. Just actually. clicked on it. Now click on the tree. Where's Adam? Yeah. And then, and then click back on the tier. He still's not. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a huge upgrade. Now that Morph uh, has his level 25, like 20 feels good. Waveform attack targets. It lets like you waveform like in and not like be like you're not gonna just instantly die to other random stuff because you can waveform again. Yeah. The remnant restore time. Same goes with Ember now. Yep. All right. Quinn does a really good job of playing super aggressive on this Ember Spirit and just like kind of getting in there and Ooh. relying on his individual skill to make sure he doesn't get like he jumped on the axe in that last team fight when yep. they re-engaged and he had to stay ahead of the call. He's definitely the best hero to go first and that's like a hard skill to recognize because certain heroes that's not like always their job right like that's not always yeah. how Ember wants to play but in this game like because it's a bad liking game Morphling also doesn't want to go first Clockwork prefers you to like disrupt the fight first and then have him hook the back lines so the whoa, fact whoa, that he's whoa. recognized that's Adam? really good uh, hello goodbye and once Morphling gets Scotty he's pretty hard to like he's already har he's already hard to bring down he takes the the armor on the golems that's not terribly surprising. I'm trying to think, right? Like BGB shackle shot, stuns. maybe. Really is the only thing, I guess. Yeah, you have Axe Call and Treant uh, yeah. ult that both like go the through it anyway. They're both good, as you said. It's one of those, like, one half dozen or the other. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, I know. They're gonna. I like how they're walking down the lane with traps. Or gem for the traps. Get rid of those. Stop pushing my lane when you're not here. 
One more. Very important against TA to have a gem at some point. Oh, get ready. Something might be happening down here. I don't know what, because it's two supports. They saw the gem. They're yeah. just into the trees. So why are they going? Why are they pushing? But are they just getting rid of those traps? Yeah, they that's know what, that that's okay. where TA's put them all the recent past. So. So what do we got? We got Aegis. Where is the cheese at? Is it on CCNC? All right, and Refresher Shard. We're gonna assume. That's the best part of Refresher Shard, right? That it doesn't cost mana compared to yeah, Refresher. They probably orb. should make it cost mana. Honestly, it seems like a pretty broken concept. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like that. At least like 200 mana or yeah, something. Yeah, not like a ton. It doesn't have to be as much as Refresher, but... Oh, the hook shot on the back line. They go in. I don't know if they thought about it, Zai. He goes out, though. He's like, nah, I'm good. Swashbuckle, we see doing a ton damage. Oh, he doesn't actually do the call. Will he do it now? Yeah, Pike can ten damage. There is the Aegis. Warlock Rock goes down on the backside. He's just upheaving right now. Look at how slow they're all moving. Adam, get to throw out some tree armor. Will it be enough to do anything? No, because he's just standing in front. He's going three, for the three, meteor hammer. Fountain. Nope. And they are going to the fountain. Oh I don't God. know about this one. <laughs> That was a... Uh, That's space. Uh, you know, All right, everybody sure. run. run a tier 3 easy. I think you would have got the tier 3 either way. Don't question it. They go for the rock. He's trying to run. Will he get away? The 20 armor. Was Refresher Shard I used? I don't think no. so. No, okay. Yeah. Waiting for it. Well, the shrine's going to... I think this is the bigger shrine to probably take, but I'm sure they'll get there, especially with Morph DD. All right. That wasn't actually space, was it, BSJ? No, he should not have been that sorry, deep. I'm, I'm no, 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 you're yeah. good. Like, there, there could be a time that actually did mean something. There are something, actually times that that's correct. Usually it's the lichen hitting buildings with other heroes doing that. Yeah. Not like vice versa, but. A little dove in a little too, uh, especially when you're against an axe. Like, I don't know if you, you want to be I, near a fountain. I played with Sammy Boy for seven games in a row. Yeah. That's all too familiar with, to me right now. Yep, I feel you. Yeah. So 6K lead for complexity now. You see, I mean, the Pangle, the highest net worth by far, but you can only go so high on this hero. And so what's he, he's getting the Scotty, is he just replacing his mana boots? I don't know, actually. Probably. You, uh, the, you're not really a hero that needs boots. You just roll around. Yeah. Swashbuckle cooldown. I mean, yeah, why not? They're just running away. Man, now we can finally look at this, and it is dropping. Yeah, no, this is what I was definitely worried about for complexity you know, as far as the lineup go. Damn. Yep, TA has certainly hit her peak, and as Grant mentioned, when it's six slotted against six slotted, OG Optic, excuse oh. me, does win. So, no. I, I don't think you can beat a Warlock lineup late game unless they, have they just have, like, no too. carries. Yeah. <laughs> if they just have, like, no carries, okay, that's one thing. But if it's, like, semi-decent carry late games and you have a Warlock, I feel like that hero becomes a fourth core. Would, would you say Warlock is the best support late game? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Unless you have a four Enigma. But Warlock counters Enigma, so it's kind of, yeah. Damn. It's a rock, paper, scissors deal without yeah, the scissors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Has that mid-tower been healed yet? Oh, no. Unbelievable. It's actually a little bit triggering, isn't it? <laughs> like, what else are you doing? Well, that honestly, it's it's an oversight. Like, that, that's, it is that's an oversight. That's the only way to put it. It's yeah. why is he treating there? Oh, look at that. That's oh like my god, he healed he something. He did something. He was doing he it. He remembered like he has living armor, so we know that. Is he just doing it on creeps to push waves? or uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's it's definitely... Uh, I mean, it, know, it wastes time, wish, yeah. which you want to Yeah, that's, that could be like 10 seconds. That For a, a no, no buyback, it really could make a difference. Yeah. Gem picked up by tree now. The dancing living armor. Do look. Oh, okay. Check oh. now. No, I, I'm I'm checking everything. He did it this way. What, what, what he's, is he does it in the way he's facing, and he was facing like in this little direction. I don't know what. Doesn't Tree has some weird ass like uh, living armor? Twenty five talent. Let's give it a peek. Here. AOE we armor. AOE living armor. Three fifty eyes oh, wow. and overgrowth. AOE. Oh, get ready, get ready. We have something. Seven hundred AOE living armor. So that's like pretty much Wait, what? the whole wow. screen. Dear, hold um, I think he just misclicked. So now they can't jump if they want to. Oh, four more seconds. Still, Let's they might want to jump early. Like and look at this. Like they oh. placed the ward. Oh, do they know he's in there? They, they know pinged. he went back there. So many pinged, yeah. But he's going on the other side. Get that wolf. CCNC comes in. Won't find anything. thing to note is he does have that level 25 howl talent. So at nighttime, they all get 1,200 Or not more than that, actually. It's like 1,800 or a something? Lot. We'll it's give it a lot. 1,600 but. health for the whole team. Well, guess what uh. just happened middle? Something that shouldn't have happened. The siege units plus the wolf do end up killing this tower. Hmm. If only that tower could have somehow had more health. But unfortunately, Howell does not work on it. Just kidding. Lycan's on the other team, Grant. Yeah, I know. Okay. Focus on the family, my friend. So, Refresher Shard on Pango. Or Refresher Orb, pardon me. 
What for? Just two ulties? Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're a hero with an, a, a strong ability kit, like, you can just go refresher on pretty much anything and I guess if you're BKB, six right? It's, it's kind of like one of those items where it's like, is there any other item in this game that makes... Like, he could have bought Scotty, right? But does Scotty really change that much? You have an Ember Spirit, no. you have a Lycan. Like, Morphling has mobility, too. Like, none of these heroes were particularly countered by that. So Ooh. he's going Sheepstick as the item he deems to change the game. That's like, you only go it Refresher is. when you're like, nothing else changes the way I play this game. Yeah, the um, the only other good. item that he can get to play off of proccing is Diffusal Blade. Oh, he can't. Smart cancel there. And that's just like, what? Late game. Like, yeah, who gets a 50 minute Diffusal too. Blade? Ugh. Yeah, he does. He, he gets his off like a nearly yeah. every hero. He was playing TA just earlier today and he got it. It's a good jumping. Unpurgeable, unpurifiable, whatever you want to call it. Uncleansable. Uncleansable. In words of so, in hindsight, is Axe missing out that he didn't go the uh, attacks proccing counter helix? No. I don't think so. I don't think he's ever attacking. He yeah. has phase speed. Like, the only attack speed item he has is Shadow Blade. Didn't and even take the attack speed of 10. And even if he does, it's not like his counter helix does that much damage anymore. It's true, but it, I mean, for some Morphling fully agility, it's decent, right? It's always decent if he's full agility. I like the way he's sitting now. He literally has 4,000 health on Morphling. <laughs> well. It only took an hour. It only took like three deaths. Uh, he is getting BKB. And that's the thing, right? These guys aren't even six slotted on Optic right now. They're getting up there right now. It is an hour, almost 58 minutes into the game now. And this is a very big game. It's, it's the difference between playing EG and playing Immortal, obviously. Is there really that much difference? I would say there's I'm a reasonable I'm difference. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm totally kidding. No, I mean, pretty big it, deal. EG has looked very well off, but, I mean, Immortals has also looked pretty off. I mean, either way, you're going to need to defeat two opponents, yep. obviously, in the end, so it's... If not three. Yeah. If not possibly three, if you lose one of them, yeah, it's, so it's uh, going to be a tough task either way. And Traps going back down there, retrapping the bottom lane here. Getting it all sorted out. Oh, there we go, see? That's what he's been doing. Look at how happy they are. I've gotcha. <laughs> Is that what they sound like? Yes. Look at how, like, they're just defending their boy. You can't even be mad about this. <laughs> well, Roche is going down, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> did I Wait, not back see, to the range Did creep. I not see <laughs> the Roche the kill? Creep. Back to Dude, the look it. Is it back up? Oh, Tier three. quick blink. It's out nice of there. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not convinced that range creep HP did anything. Oh, over oh. here, Z-Freak. He's going to oh. look for 33, but a call on the backside as well. It is going to find PPD. And look at this, the Boots Golem. of Travel too. The Golem on death will pop out. But here comes Moon rolling on through. 33, he's going to get stunned very shortly because he has a low BKB. No, he won't. Oh, Z-Freak eats the cheese. No one's nearby. And now they go through. 33 is in a lot of trouble. He's just dead. What? That was an odd. I didn't even know Wind Ranger had a, a cheese, but he ate it. <laughs> That's the second time 3-3 is really overextended. Obviously, the Fountain died the last time. Yeah, and look at this. This, I mean, it's still a 5k lead, but you, you have to force buyback no matter what, right? He has two gems. He was going for a third gem. He wanted the third gem. Dude, why would you risk your two gems? For a third <laughs> gem? <laughs> third gem. <laughs> Please. What? <laughs> you have a tree protector on the enemy team and TA traps. You are the team that wants gems. They're more important to you than they are to complexity. But he likes wards. jewels. What's wrong with jewels? <laughs> well, Hastron picked up. He'll get the. How much are these now? Let's give it a peek, sirs. It's like playing it's against a techie stretch. So 640 gold or 800 gold. Yep. Both teams get it. Get two. Pardon. Well, maybe not. One's chilling. So where does this game break open? I mean, a team has to. Which team needs to take the risk? Is it Cole still, or does Canoptic just continue to sit in base? It's Cole for sure. Absolutely, I think at least. Yeah, this is a game where at any point, like it's going to get slowly worse and worse for Cole. But at the same time, it's like you're going to win one fight where one team is forced to buy back, or both, and then whoever dies first with buybacks on cooldown is going to lose the game. That's just how it's going to go at the stage. You're at that point where both teams do so much damage to towers that if they have even like. 20 seconds to hit your base, you're, it's all dead. We see Aegis on Morphling, BKB probably going to get swapped in when Aegis goes down or goes away. The only growth you have at this point is uh, turning Wind Ranger into a core. Which they have kind of, obviously it has the MKB, has the, the BKB. What, what do you go next on? Or do you just go something like a Daedalus? Or what do you want to uh, uh, sheep You don't stick? have the Aghanim Scepter yet. So get the Ags. Maybe. Right. I don't know. Be confident, Cap. What's the 25 point Ranger? I, I've played a good amount of Wind Ranger, but I've never gone. Focus fire. Right, yeah. 
I've never gone late game with this hero. Could be tough. We might be seeing it though. 61 minutes into the game. We can look at the items again. Lotus Orb, Ewell's four steps eye. Quite the little team player he is. Ember does have that sheep now, or pardon me, the scythe. Morphling. Oh, we already saw you, bud. Lycan, when do you trade this Echo Saver for the Nullifier? You just sell Echo Saver for Null? Yeah. Because you definitely want to keep that blink, I assume. Bottom. They're grouping up. They're far out of their base right now. You definitely drop the treads, Shrunk. by the way. That hero doesn't need boots. Okay. Some oh, people yeah. never go yeah, boots you're right. on that hero. Well, Is he going to sell the treads? No, he's debating it, I think. Hmm, what should I do? Why is he... Okay. Okay, okay. Sell treads. He's going to do it. Bottom lane pushed in. They have to know something's up again, right? Because they're... Is Limp Z free? They're going in. They're going to do some damage to this tower, it looks like. In comes the Ember, though. And it looks like they're going to go out over here. Illusions trying to harass out the tree armor. That's the thing. You can't just poke and prod towers if you're on the dire side. You have to commit versus this tree armor. I think now that we're at base towers, he is definitely going to be ready to heal it up. I'm, I'm watching. Yeah, you won't forget tier threes. They've got about a minute left on the Aegis. Or will he? <laughs> is he actually standing right next to it? Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Why does he wait for the creeps? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but they yeah, cleared yeah. out, but it's fine. He does heal up the tower. Middle needs a little bit of healing as well. Top continues to get pushed in, but CC and C. He just goes out. He's good to go. TPing in. They have the last 30 seconds of the Aegis that they want to make use of. And let's see, what do we got? PPD still has that refresher shard. Now, Lotus Orb. Will we put on? He's just going to see down. Is going to be a call. They're going to do a decent amount of damage. Pulling him back into the base. Nullified up. Will get sheeped as well. Aegis should go down here. They drop the first rock. Now 33 is just going ham up on TA, who is muted. In comes CCNC. A little bit late. Moon Meander. Oh, will get his ult canceled for now. But the Crimson Guard helping out. Oh, now Pycat in a little bit troll does have the cheese. Will he get off? He does get the cheese off. The second rock does come down. Moon is going to roll through. But we see Zai going in. Will they be able to get this axe? Looks like they might. But on the backside, Zai takes so much damage from Limp. It will be a one-for-one one trade. And look at this tower healed the full. Still dancing around. And now the Warlock will him. Just roll him. Go back. And well, I think Flexity the, wins that game, really. I mean, they win that yeah. fight for sure. Uh, uh, these are there was a, there was a move buyback, but you lose yeah. a refresher shard for a buyback. Pretty good trade, Aegis, I'd say. Aegis, yeah, yeah just as well. I don't know how they're gonna put. Like, it would only be bad if they could actually push again while your buyback's on cooldown, but I don't think they can. So, and this is quite the battle we have: complexity versus optic. A lot of people before this started didn't give Cole even a chance, and they were fighting for first place. And I now did. they're giving a, a good fight here against Optic. <laughs> There's no question that the complexity fanboy gave them I a did. chance. <laughs> and now Pycat could definitely buy that the no. shard if he wants. But for real though, for real, for real. Go on. You want to snatch up that that tree morph? I'm just saying, you haven't lost a tier three yet. That well, that bottom one's kind of low. Do you actually go for a very aggressive play where you go, you, you morph him, and then you just wait <laughs> for him, TP out? away, and just you get out? Away? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're laughing, but it, it, there's a very big possibility he could be thinking the same thing. Dude, imagine how dangerous it would be to play on the map if there was a invisible morphling in the trees running around. That roots you. Right. That roots you first hit and then slams you. Wait, do you get talents from Morphling Morph? No, you don't. Not so talents, you don't get the plus no. two? That would be no. pretty sick, but no. okay. Just making sure. You never know. You want to explain everything that's going on, right? Yeah. All right. So? You're asking for the viewers. Yes, absolutely. The viewers are what's most important. Just kidding. It's the players, and they are playing a magnificent game right now. All tier twos are finally down. Let's see. Almost fully healed. Almost fully healed. He will be meteor hammering out middle to push it. And look at this, they were they were ready. But he will get away. Boots Travel 2 picked up by the morph. Oh, oh, they're TPing on to the wolf. Get him. Oh, will they be able to? The hook shot comes in. Oh, the swashbuckle only hits the wolf. See you later, Adam. That's a gem. That's a BKB though by Morph. So. That is a B. I think, yeah, they can't push, but I believe it. What was it? Oh my goodness, they get the sheep up on TA. A BKB is getting pop. He wants to try to bring him down. He's juking around, but uh-oh, Moo oh, the gets call. the call off on him. See you later, 33. 
dunked on top of the head, and now they're chasing CC and C. He throws out that Aeon Disc. Well, he doesn't throw it out. It automatically procs, of course, but we're going to see Adam not get anything. Does buy back, though. Another no, decent trade looking. for Cole, right? Lamp. If this is a fast re uh, respawn, this could be really favorable for complexity. Let's see. They're still chasing, but we'll focus on the Roche. But just kidding. Middle lane. They're going to find PPD. Oh, the Lotus Orb will help. And now there's a Lincoln's. Oh, Yule's into the air. They're just chasing on through. 33. No buyback. They know that. It's How long a on decent Roche? fast Roche. On. It's 30 that seconds. Is. They can get this. So now you get the, obviously you get the, you get the Aegis on TA. What are we looking at for the refresher shard? Is it tree? Is it pango? Is it call? Could it be a call? Or two calls? It could actually be uh, just because of all sick. the items. And then not only that, a cheese, my friends. Where Does the cheese just go in like a backpack of TA or something? Yeah, probably backpack of a core. Maybe even backpack of tree who can give it to a core later. Turn it into blue cheese, smart. Yeah, yeah. Cheese does age well. Does. Well, rocket. Get a help push out the more. Whoa, CCNC is going in. There's going to be a Boots of Travel 2 coming in from Lim. CCNC is just instantly dead. Oh. Now a Yule's into the air. This Clockwork's in quite the pickle himself. He gets shackle shot nicely by Z Freak. And guess what? There is no buyback on the Clockwork, <laughs> only on CCNC, who, well, he. Yeah, I was just no, had aggressive. No Double there. damage to They're like, going to do Roshan. I know. just was on like 10 second cooldown when he did that. I don't know. I don't know how complexities. Winning this game at 70 minutes in with I, their lineup. It feels like whoever's playing crazy. aggressive is losing, right? Like, yeah. it just feels like the aggressive team is losing. And Optic thought, you know, hey, we're into the late game. Y'all don't scale. But guess what? Items always scale. Sheep sticks always good. You damn well know that, Cap. <laughs> they have two cores that don't really do That'll a bunch of shard do really do damage. No, he gave him a shard. No, he just ate it himself. No, he gave one a win ranger. I don't think you understand, Cap. No, he did. Axe oh. just infinitely just scales. Because That's true. Frankie's however much it. damage you do is how much Axe does. That That's true. Huh. So all the more reason to Morphling to pick up that Blade Mail. Yep. Blink call with the Blade Mail Axe Well, they give morph. the Aegis to the Axe, by the way. Well, uh, yeah, I'm he is okay going to blink that. in and TX, die, so yeah. I guess that makes sense. So Refresher, let's give it a peek. It will be on trees. So, do I mean, obviously, right, Overgrowth, bait out BKBs. Overgrowth, the second BKBs. Or, I mean, after the BKBs, pardon me. I can see that. Pretty good. Most importantly, you're denying the Refresher Shard to Warlock. Yeah. And this, quite the game. 19th, didn't, what, what just happened here? We're, we're climbing, and then, oh, this is too easy for the green wall. And then, the complexity decides to topple the wall, and they're bringing it back up. How many CS does Pangolier have? Let's give it a check here. Uh, 707. Okay, he actually has less CS than TA. I just saw the net worth. Maybe TA gave him a Moon Shard or something. Let's give it a peek. That must awesome. yeah. probably what happened. He gave it to him over there. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, I could have sworn he gave it to somebody. Yeah, I just saw, like, how does he have that much higher net worth? Yeah. And that's because TA lost 4,000 and he got 4,000. All right. Time to get that Axe on tree. Oh, yeah. It's it, definitely an investment would, worth it at this nah, point. Nice, good. Four I would, please. The, I mean, with if the game comes down to, like, a single pickoff or a good overgrowth. The tree up. axe is pretty They have valued. no convenient way other than Ember Spear Remnant to clear trees. So. Yeah, true. Or Golem. They could Golem the trees. 10,000 gold. They sure could. <laughs> 11,000 gold. Well, uh, Peter could suicide on top of the trees. <laughs> Give your entire Get team a Get a Bloodstone and suicide on the trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Rocket Flare True Sight. I did not think I was going to see the day where that was a pickup, but... It, Today it, is the day, my friend. It is a good game for it. Yeah. Let's peep it out. Let's see the next. Oh, they see Revealed that trap. trap. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we can't TP there without being slowed or damaged. Well, Man. now we can't TP there because it's gone. <laughs> I, wait, how has this lasted so long? Yo, that, the devil. I'm just saying. They oh, wait, they're about to go in. Oh. They just lost a tier three. It's not like the tier three has been dead for very long. But if PyCat had turned into a tree. Come back, come back, come back, come back. We are going to see. Sheeps come out on both sides of things. They're they going to have the call nullifier. Oh, it will be two. Can they get them all? Hey, this will get popped. He gets the BKB up. They're trying to go. He tried to go over the side. He did not go BKB over the ledge. Rooted. Now he might. They're going to get him on the back side. 33 handles Adam. Moon does get caught over here. And now Moo is going to go down. PyCat. It is only the Warlock BKB. Warlock Golem. Warlock yeah. Golem goes down. And now Lamp. He is just going to die here. It looks like he doesn't have the Aegis. He has buyback, but guess who doesn't? On the backside, Moon does pay up the kill on CCNC. That's a big one. 
What happens here? Are there buybacks? Do we go? There's another kill is what happens. See you later, Moo. Does CCC well, buy back and they try to finish He definitely here? buy back. Whoa, hook shot. He finds oh, another from Pango. downtown. It's Pango. This is still a tough kill to get. He has the Ags. He can continue chasing Yules as well. He's got to hit it here. Uh, Which way? He thinks he's on trees. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No. No, yes. You Maybe. just throw one out, right? No. He doesn't even try. I mean, it's Ags. I would, but. TA's the only hero of buy oh back. Oh, my goodness. Say, yes. Golem's clearing top lane, Dude, too. So. I, I thought they were when CC and C didn't make it over the ledge like I thought he wanted to. That looked real bad. And then guess what? You have a warlock in the late game, BSJ. He just stuns everyone. I do. You know that. Oh. Uh, the problem is they're trying to push, and TA traps are just killing all their creeps. <laughs> they so can definitely. It's a morph, door. though, right? It is a morph. How? Not yet. The See, glyph. this is when Cap wouldn't be flaming the five wolves talent. That's true. Well, they're going to go for it again. Buy back from Limp. You got to get this tower at least. No, they don't. They're going to back up. Wolves go down. Even get Full to heal. Well. And let's watch it. I believe it takes like two damage, right? Or something? Yeah. Let's see. There's some, some weird interaction where it does take small amounts of damage per hit. Ooh. That's hmm. a decent chunk. That's 57 damage. That's unhealable, healable damage. Well, it's definitely <laughs> healable, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Will it be? Will it be? Oh, or is it healable, unhealable damage? It's neither, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> know what this is? This is a double damage morphling. That really makes you think, Cap. A 50k net worth Pango. <laughs> yeah, he that's... He's I don't think I've, <laughs> see the I've day. never seen a 25k <laughs> Pango. <laughs> this is Moon Manor. This guy's won multiple majors. Ah, Daedalus, that's right. I forgot about that item. Refresh your bots too in his backpack just casually. That's what so we're looking at buyback. At 73 minutes, your swashbuckle can do <laughs> like 200 damage crits. Oh. Now that is value. Value. I bet he wishes he went the swashbuckle damage. Did he actually go it? Let's no, give he it took a the strength. Yeah, everyone does. Oh, and look at that. Fully healed up now in the tower. Did he heal this 100 yet? He did. All right. So we are fully healed up, except the bottom range racks a little bit. And Sheep Stick, or pardon me, Scythe on the Wind Ranger, making a way downtown for herself. Walking fast. Mm -hmm. Was it called Sheep Stick in Dota 1? It was Is that why people called no, it? No, it just turned you into a sheep. Okay. Because that's the People called it That's the stick. other game's term, so I, I just kinda wondered about that always. Yep. Now it, it would be a pig stick if anything, I think. Yeah. That doesn't have the same appeal. No, I don't like pig stick. <laughs> what about that pig on it? You okay. I need to hear your guys' genuine answers. Here we go. Is a corn dog the same as a hot dog? No. 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 Why not? Because it's, it's not covered stick. in corn. It's corn like bread. saying, is breaded chicken the same as chicken? Is it? No. It's a chicken. I mean, yes. The way you eat it is also completely different. Yeah, but it doesn't, the way you eat it doesn't Gr make Grant, it different. Grant, I would find it acceptable if it was a cornbread bun <laughs> hot it dog. It is. No, no, no. no. That's all I it, eat. I'm saying if the hot dog, <laughs> if you specified a cornbread hot dog, basically, I would say that's basically, that that is the same as a corn dog. I knew it. I did specify that in my head. <laughs> well, middle. <laughs> They're sitting here. The Ags on Clockwork has definitely paid off finally. He did get in. He's been doing multiple hooks through BKBs, which is nice, obviously. Okay, the bounty runes are out. Let's see. First one picked up here, it looks like. Z Freak's going to give. Look at this net worth swing. Going to be 15K, 16K. <laughs> get ready. Will it be 17? Seven. It's going to be 17. 17. Oh, no, but wait. Oh, no. The reverse oh, swing. Back. 16. Back to 15. Oh my gosh. Thought you had it. So those are some drastically quick the net value. worth swings. I'm looking at the graph for that one. It, takes it doesn't change right away. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's going to Steer it for a couple minutes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll come back. It'll finally get there. When what's the over under of when PPD all chats, when can we remake the game? Cuz he always does this in long games where he says it's a stalemate and no one wants to push. 87 Except for his minutes. Team I think 87 minutes game. and then you have to call the over under. Okay, okay. Did you say his team is favored in late game? I mean, they, they well, absolutely when, should be. Wins late game, Cap. I, I mean, they should be favored right <laughs> now. Again, I don't know how they keep losing <laughs> fights. I mean, Lycan is a carry and all, but he doesn't. he's not like a hard carry. What? So, is he just a soft carry? Uh, 
I mean, you, he's a hero that, like, he's kind of like TA, where he's, like, you, you prioritize his farm as a carry, but all of his items, are, or all of his, like, scalability is usually, like, flat numbers of Oh, summons. wait up. Yes. Where are the Necronomicons, man? Yeah, time to buy one. Here you go. I'll let you guys see this for 10 seconds. Look at this. Look at look at Pangol here. Whoa! Oh. We have a hookshot going in. I don't know how to close this. He Everybody here on the radio has out. a blink, by Oh, the, the goal. The goal. They're going just for Adam. They are going hard in the paint for him. An upheaval, Ewells. They're going to try to bring him down. He gets four-staffed again. And a golem for a support train. Wait, they're still going. They bring him down. An instant oh. buyback. Moo goes in. Gets the call off limp. Oh, my goodness. He nullifies back. Nice use of the Lotus Orb. And now they're all BKB'd up. He Pike actually couldn't BKB because of the nullifier. Do anything. And now... They're going for a kill. Limp is dead. Buyback. No buyback. And now Moon is almost dead as well. Yeah. Moo is just trying to right click. But the call on call action from these two. And it doesn't look like they can hold much longer. Cole will have a buyback. Nice shackle. Holding him in place so they can't kill more heroes. And now the Pangolier. Wait, did Zai they, just? They can still hold, though. Where did Zai? Zai must have got a rocket or a hook shot somewhere because he got the kill. It must have been oh, middle. middle yeah. And now, uh-oh. Uh, Pycat, you're in a little bit deep, my friend. Like some 41, they will bring him down. Zai will keep two of them in place. Can they get Moon on the Pango? That's a huge one. They sure do. It's 131 oh, seconds. Heck. And look at this Golem dancing on him right now. They get the top racks. They're going for middle. This finally looks like they broke the base. 33, 33 didn't die at the beginning, too. So a, a good sign for Optic. <laughs> and now he goes oh, in. Cool. He hits three of them with the Blade Milk doing so much. Zai goes down. Pycat, he will say Tannic and heal up. Tree goes down. That's all the bikes. This game's over, boys. That, I just want to say that that nullifier from the TA yeah. into the Lotus Orb, so he orb. couldn't BKB, and he so just died instantly. Zygod. 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 And then he also got the hookshot middle to finish him off. What a game. That was that was a fun matchup. Good and way to finish day general. two, man. Yeah. Oh, my Jeez. goodness. I am sweating. That was fun. But more importantly, Optic Gaming takes seed number one in the bracket, meaning they will play Immortals. I mean, I'm sure yeah. we'll, we'll give a site prediction. They will definitely show it as soon. We'll look at the scoreboard. This is an important one. The question is, who spent the most support, like, on support items? Um, That's my favorite. No, PPD, Trian. PPD, PPD. Trian sure. and PPD, let's go give it a peek. Not even that much. Oh, wow. Yeah, 9,000 for Peter. Easy. 6,000 for Adam. But, man, look at the end of this game. As, as you said, Cap, you've never seen such a, a farmed Pangolier, but... He's not a true carry. Dude, like, I'm pretty sure 20k like of that net worth is just worthless on that hero. Yeah. <laughs> that hero doesn't do anything for you late game. Like, yeah, maybe maybe Ember Spirit and, and Lycan aren't, like, the greatest hard carries in the world late game. But you're still, like, soft carries. Your Morphling's a hard carry. You've got a Warlock late game. Yeah. Like, sure, surely there's no way that Complexity can, can win. Past like 70 yeah, minutes with the net worth even. That literally was literally had the net worth lead the whole game until. Uh, and, the, and that's just props to them, right? It's yeah. props to like move fantastic calls. Like he kept on getting the right blink call initiations. Yeah. Uh, like I, I don't think I've ever seen an axe actually look that good that late game um, because he just got so many multi hero calls. It wasn't just like he was just locking down the morphling and killing him with blade mail. He was also catching other heroes in those calls as well. Yep. So BSJ. I got a question. If he BKB'd before the nullifier got Lotus, would that fight change? I mean... We, we don't know, right? We'd have to go look never, at it again. But he has a refresher, too. He has, yeah. like, double everything. Oh, so he should have definitely BKB'd I mean, first. It's, I mean, yeah, but the thing yeah. about the late game is, like, as a Dota player, you can only process so much so quickly. And, yeah, like, it's hard for me. Yeah. You're thinking about 20 buttons, and the last thing, you like, that goes through your mind is you're like, I'm going to BKB at this point, and then, like, you just get Lotus or you know, on your nullifier, and it's just... It's nope. tough. Uh, for me, like, I always, like, have leaned towards in this stage in the game, you just push your BKB, even if it's it, too early, like, but yeah. it's, I mean, you're going to mess up. It's an 80-minute yeah. game. We don't know. Maybe it would have helped. Maybe it wouldn't yeah. have. A, a good team fight. I I can't believe, though, Peter just rocked for the Treant, right? And the Treant had to be a buyback, but whatever. I want to kill that tree. Make at, him buy back. At this stage in the game, supports are, whatever. Un, like, as valuable, though, as... As um, carries just because they protect you like that. Like imagine if they didn't have the Lotus Orb from the clock. Yeah, uh, you're right. It's no null fire. Yep, it changes a lot of things. But optic, they do win with their their tri core carry. It looked so good for complexity, but they just could never break the high ground. So congratulations to both teams, though they do make it into the bracket. And now all you need just win two games in the upper bracket. Mm -hmm. You're through to TI. You have two chances. Even if you lose, you have another chance. But I believe. We might be taking a quick break. I believe we're going to go to SCA Dota. Maybe they're still Vati. I have no clue what's going on. It will be SCA qualifiers. That's good. So any last words from you young fellas? 
Good. I will say the last words then. Thank you for tuning in. NA will continue tomorrow. We will see the brackets. Optic, Cole, Immortals, as well as EG will all be playing tomorrow. So stick around for some SEO Dota, baby. See ya.